Kids movies are way dirtier than we remember. Nice movie, Trent. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for another 10 hidden jokes in kids movies that ruined your childhood. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're looking at the most adult-oriented jokes in kids' movies that, in hindsight, seem totally inappropriate. But hey, they probably went over the heads of children and at least some of them added a new level of humor for adult viewers. Number 10. The Boss's Baby – How the Grinch Stole Christmas Towards the beginning of this live-action adaptation, we learn where babies come from in the world of Whoville. Thankfully, it's not a Who sex ed lesson. Who babies float in from the sky in an umbrella basket, or pumbercellas. It's sort of like a variation on the old story of babies being delivered by storks. Innocent, right? But this film comes armed with plenty of adult appeal, and so as the first baby is delivered on the doorstep by its presumed father-to-be, we get a not-so-wholesome revelation. Hey, honey! Our baby's here! He looks just like your boss. Most kids hopefully aren't familiar with the concept of extramarital workplace affairs, but it definitely gets a laugh if you rewatch the film when you're older. Number 9. Like Rabbits – Zootopia Rabbits are known for many things. They're cute and cuddly. They're a popular symbol for speed. And veering into slightly more adult territory, they're also known to be seriously prolific procreators, meaning they have a lot of babies and do it quickly. When Officer Judy Hopps calls Nick Wilde out for tax evasion, she throws in a little species-specific sexual innuendo. 1,460,000, I think. I mean, <laughs> I am just a dumb bunny, but we are good at multiplying. He'd previously called her a dumb bunny, but this mental math shows that she's anything but. And before he can question her calculations, she reminds him that bunnies are good at multiplying. We adults see what you did there, Disney, and it was funny stuff. Number 8. Sugar Honey Iced Tea – Madagascar You can squeeze a lot of sexual innuendo and other types of adult jokes into movies for kids. Swearing, however, is one of the big no-nos. Foul language is all but guaranteed to get you a PG-13 rating, higher if it's sexually related. But screenwriters are a creative bunch, so they usually manage to find non-traditional ways to fill the void left by the absence of swear words. Oh, sugar honey iced tea! In Madagascar, Chris Rock's character, Marty the Zebra, says a series of words that, although innocent at face value, come together as a convenient acronym. Sugar Honey Iced Tea, S-H-I-T. Those sneaky writers. <laughs> Number 7. Rex to Rachel – Ice Age Dawn of the Dinosaurs The third installment in 20th Century Fox's hugely successful Ice Age film franchise introduced Simon Pegg's Buck, a one-eyed weasel with a habit of going after creatures much larger than himself. This dinosaur hunter is more than a little rough around the edges, and seems utterly without mercy or remorse when it comes to his life calling. At one point, he regales Manny, Diego, and company tales of his exploits, and quite frankly, it sounds like something out of a gory horror film. Now, let me tell you about the time I used a sharpened clamshell to turn a T-Rex into a T-Rachel. Though it's played for a laugh, he's talking about castrating a T-Rex. This is one messed up weasel. Number 6. A Dirty Ho the Cat in the Hat Like 2000's How the Grinch Stole Christmas, this live-action adaptation aimed to take a Dr. Seuss classic and turn it into a feature-length film that would appeal to kids and adults alike. Oh. Unfortunately, it wasn't nearly as successful as The Grinch, and although there's a plethora of adult-oriented jokes, they're far from subtle. After landing in the yard and threatening two dogs, Mike Myers' titular Cat in the Hat looks at the garden tool he's been brandishing and aggressively calls it a dirty hoe before smiling knowingly at the camera. Cat, you scared him away! <laughs> Dirty hoe! Kids likely thought nothing of it, but for adults, it's a surprisingly random and inappropriate bit of wordplay. Number 5. Flying High – The Santa Claus In 1994, Tim Allen starred in this critically acclaimed Christmas film and box office success. It's become something of a classic in the decades since, and is undeniably a fun film for the whole family. But our families aren't here with us right now. This is probably why Johnson's secretary sits in his lap. <laughs> of course, like so many family films, it squeezes in a few jokes just for the adults. When Tim Allen's character, Scott Calvin, starts flying, he reassures his son that he's fine because of past experience. Uh, I'm okay, I'm okay, I'm okay. Whoa! It's okay, I'm used to it. I lived through the 60s. 
Apparently, Mr. Calvin did some hard partying and experimentation with drugs before becoming the suit and tie we meet in the film. Adding to the joke is the fact that Tim Allen was actually arrested for drug trafficking in the 70s. Number 4. Busy Boy – 101 Dalmatians Cruella de Vil has always been a memorable villain, but Glenn Close makes us really love to hate the character. She oozes malice and villainous charisma, delivering many a memorable line. There's one statement in particular that children in the audience likely thought nothing of, but would surely raise the eyebrows of their accompanying parents. We're having puppies, too. <gasps> puppies? You have been a busy boy. When she learns that Roger and Anita are expecting puppies in addition to a child, she says that Roger has been a busy boy. Is she suggesting Roger had something to do with the puppies? Gross, Cruella. Really gross. <laughs> Cheerio! Cheerio, darling! Number 3. A Compromising Position – The Road to El Dorado This film follows troublemakers Miguel and Tulio, who, in 1519, travel from Spain to the New World, armed with a map to the City of Gold. Naturally, nothing goes as planned, but being the con men that they are, they usually manage to spin the unexpected in their favor. When a local woman by the name of Chell enters the picture, however, things get even more complicated. It turns out that Chell can be just as manipulative as Miguel and Tulio. When she initiates a massage with Tulio, it quickly escalates to something far more suggestive off-camera. And based on the sounds, Tulio's expression and their body positions, we suspect that they were doing more than kissing. Mm, yeah. Number 2. The Topless Woman – The Rescuers Rumors abound about inappropriate content being snuck into Disney films, from the phallic towers in The Little Mermaid to that much-debated line from Aladdin. However, there's nothing subjective about this adult edition to 1977's The Rescuers. Oh, In 1999, a massive recall of VHS copies of the film was announced due to an inappropriate image which had been added to the film in post-production. Disney initially refused to say what the offensive image was, but word got out fast that it was a picture of a real-life topless woman in an apartment window, visible as our mouse protagonists Bernard and Bianca fly by. Incredibly, this was in the original version of the film. Before we unveil our top pick, here are some honorable mentions. <laughs> I want you to suck it. You suck it! No, it's for you to suck. Ugh, I'm not sucking that. Suck it. I don't know where it's been. Ah, I thought you were a female! Hey, cutie! Want a pollinate with a real bug? Yeah. Ah. <laughs> Ooh. I've never seen such eyes. Oh, shall I uh, leave you in the... Blackboard alone for a moment? Daddy, oh. stop it! <laughs> Number 1. A Lemon Party – Cars 2 Pixar's Cars franchise has never shied away from sliding in a few raunchy jokes for the adults. Driving in deep and hope it sticks. That's what she said! <laughs> in the first film, there's a deleted scene of a road sign for a top-down truck stop that advertises all convertible waitresses. In a world inhabited by automobiles, this is clearly intended as a topless bar restaurant. Without a doubt, the dirtiest joke in the entire series, however, is the Lemon Party. This likely went right over the heads of most adult viewers. Lemon Party is a reference to an early 2000s shock website, which depicted a bunch of old men having an orgy. Isn't this a great party, Ivan, huh? Oh yeah, it's unbelievable. We'd like to think that this was just a coincidence, but the internet has deemed that unlikely. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.